what's going on guys and welcome back to some more vikings we are here today to do season 5 episode 13 i am looking forward to this um you know i have a lot to say about it but i'm gonna wait until the season ends to say a lot of what i had to s I have to say about this season um is it's more of just a lot of things that are just kind of like thrown together and not really making sense. As I said, the aesthetics of the show, you know, they're con they, they, they're concentrating on that so much that they're forgetting a lot of the plot lines that were set up. People are doing stuff out of character and it's not cool. It's not cool. Otherwise, I'm still enjoying the act. The acting is still pretty good. They're just executing what the writers are giving them to execute. So you can't blame the actors for um, doing what they're doing. You actually have to blame the showrunners for the stuff that are going on. A lot of people has been commenting and saying that, you know, this is when they stop watching Vikings. It's just, it's just terrible at this point. As I said, I'm still going to finish the series. It's not discouraging me from finishing up, but I will be critical if that's the case. I did I did finish watching Game of Thrones, and then I criticized the hell out of it because it, it, season eight was terrible, story wise. It was nice to look at. It was a spectacle, but story wise, didn't make sense. A lot of it didn't just didn't make sense. You know, a lot of people did stuff out of character, just the same. So here we are again. So, um, still trying to figure out what's going on with Floki's timeline. Not really timeline, more like his side story that's going on right now. I'm still trying to find out what's going on with that. Also, what else? The situation that's going on over in Wex Wessex. Um, I don't know how that's going to turn out. Alfred was trying to convince Uber to, you know, get baptized and stuff that would, you know, prove to the people that they actually have renounced their gods, but they're not going to do that. Like asking someone to renounce their God is like asking them, Hey man, kill yourself. <laughs> a true believer is not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Or convert like that. You know what I'm saying? Just so easily. It's going to take some thinking. It's going to take some thought, some time, you know? So looking forward to see what they do with that. Also, also the situation with, Lagatha and Hegman, I'm not for it. That love came out of nowhere. There was no nothing that led up to it uh, or anything like that. I'm still not for it. And it's not because, you know, I'm in love with Lagatha. It's not that. It's just that because it, I've seen Lagatha with plenty of people. You know, I think the relationship with, with her and Astrid had a better buildup than this. This just came out of nowhere it's like oh they're two pretty people let's just put them together you know what i'm saying i mean it's jonathan reese myers and one of the, the, the uh, in my opinion the most beautiful woman on the show let's just put them as a couple because they're two beautiful people <laughs> you know what i'm saying it just seems like that's how they came up with that it just seems like that but anyways we're gonna jump into this episode and then i will have my say in the review Okay, so Viking season five, episode thirteen. It was a cool one. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Um, they're building up to something. Um, towards the end of the season, we got Magnus coming back. I didn't even recognize the dude because I'm like, who is this dude just peeking in the back? Um, turns out it is Magnus. You know, Ragnar's illegitimate son. <laughs> well, not really illegitimate. He's literally not. Ragnar's son that was a debate from back in the day when I when I was like did they really have sex because I was like no nah, they didn't um she just pissed on him <laughs> so I was like how did Magnus happen or when you know what I'm saying so um Ragnar definitely um broke up that whole myth you know when he went back over there so this episode 
this episode was I'm going to give this episode a good 8 out of 10. And the reason why I'm doing that is because even though they're messing up timelines and there's new, you know, there's new storylines, there's new plots, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to enjoy the show for what it is, you know, and I got to say, as I said, man, the actors can only execute what the writers are giving them, and they're doing a great job of that. So Hegman as has been reappointed or, yeah, reappointed back to Bishop, you know, legitimately so. Um, so he's still trying to uncover the conspiracy against Alfred, and I think... I think that's the reason, the main reason why Alfred did that. You get what I'm saying? I think that's the main reason why Alfred did it to reappoint him because it's like there's nobody else on my side. I might as well put this guy in the highest position in the church so he can figure out what the hell is going on because if I leave this up to everybody else, I might get slaughtered. So um, another thing too, you know, Another thing too that I didn't like about that how they wrote the the entire s segment of that how they wrote it Alfred had no objections to Hegman. He didn't even say so why should I believe you? You just killed a man in church. No objections. He just okay, I guess I trust you, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like how do you know this guy's not planning to <clears throat> to kill you too? You know what I'm saying? Like, if it was me, if it was anybody else, in any anybody in real life human beings are not going to just up and just trust somebody just like that. He just murdered a man in church. Of course, you're going to ask, how do I know you're not going to turn against me? You get what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, do you have any, any evidence of this? You get what I'm saying? How do I know you didn't just kill him to get your position back? You get what I'm saying? Like, nothing like that. There was no dialogue. That, and that's just bad writing, in my opinion. It's just bad writing because if it was me, in the continuance of that, that that part of the dialogue has to happen by Alfred. He can't. You can't just let him just believe him. As a king, I think that's the first thing that I can criticize Alfred for now in the story because... But it's not really his fault. It's the writing's fault. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's just the writing of the story. Just, that part just didn't make sense to me because I, I I didn't say it during the episode, but I was thinking it. You get what I'm saying? It's like any nat that's the natural question that you have to ask in that scenario. Somebody can go, hey, man, I killed him because he was going to kill you. Bro, we don't even know each other. You get what I'm trying to say? Alfred and Hegman ain't buddies. You know? They ain't buddies. And furthermore, and furthermore, um, he need, Alfred needs to remember that Aetherwolf and Hegman didn't really get along. So all of that stuff compiling is what I'm trying to say, that anybody in their right mind, wisdom would tell you to ask those questions. Regardless of if he ended up trusting him in the end, those questions need to be asked. I think that's something that they could have added on to, you know? So that kind of bugged me a little bit, but, you know, as I said, I'm just enjoying the show for what it is right now. Um, what else is going on? This plot with King um, Harold in, in New York, You know, I thought he, he kind of forgot about it, but I guess he's still after Ivar. So I, I'm going to see where that gets him. I don't think he's going to get him anywhere. Um, and for what Ivar is doing now, thinking he's a god, I think that's one of the things that you can never do in any, in every religion. No matter which one of them, elevating yourself to godhood or godship or however you want to put it. Is never a good thing. It's never a good thing in, in no matter what religion it is. It's never good to elevate yourself to godhood. Never. You get what I'm saying? Is never. It's frowned upon on every religion that I know of. So I don't think this is gonna go well for him. I don't think this is cool. 
You get what I'm saying? Regardless, we're all descendants of God, if you want to put it like that. We're, he calls us his children. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, But to elevate yourself to be a God, that's a whole different story, my friend. A whole different story. I don't think this is going to go well for him. They didn't reveal who he's sacrificing. I don't... I think it's Vitzer, but I think it's going to turn out to be somebody else. Who else? I don't know anybody else that it could be, though. That's the thing. Like, I'm trying to think of who else it could be. It. I mean, of course, this, is, this even bothered the seer. So, if the seer is bothered, that's why I'm thinking maybe that's confirmation that it's going to be Vitzer. Um... I would watch another episode right now, but as I said, like right now, Vikings is the, is is at a kind of a pace where I can watch one episode and be good for the day. You know what I'm saying? Might put out another episode tomorrow, but it's double uploads. Vikings is not really deserving of double uploads right now. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna lie. Like it's not double upload worthy or triple upload sometimes that I do. Um, I did that triple upload last time for eight, nine, and ten. Um, you know what I'm saying? And that was because the season was going great, and those three episodes were fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, to see you know the brothers battle it out, even though I was against the whole thing. It was great to see, you know? So, I'm definitely giving this episode an 8 out of 10. Of course, it was a good episode. It wasn't particularly well written. You know, all of a sudden, Mac Magnus is back in the picture now to kind of coerce Bjorn into going to do something stupid. So, it's just... I'm like, why Bjorn? Just because, don't, you gotta ask him questions, man. It's like nobody wants to ask questions. It's just a bunch of acceptance going on right now that I just don't understand. Like, I thought Bjorn was, 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 have more wisdom than this. Like, um, why did they cast you out after my father visit? That's a question you have to ask. I know I would. I would have been like, so... Why did he this? He kept you all this time until Ragnar came back. There's got to be something. Something happened. What happened? Any sensible person would ask that question again. I am trying to say it's just a bunch of acceptance with no nobody asking the right questions here. Like, what the hell? It's like they're just trying to push the storyline. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying this. If you look at me and say, hey, I was living together, I grew up with Alfred, right? And they cast me out after Ragnar came, after my father came back, as he said, right? After Ragnar came back. Your natural follow-up question is, why is that? He kept you all this time. Why would he decide to cast you out after Ragnar came when he was taking care of you all this time, knowing that you're Ragnar's son? This whole time he knew. So why wait until Ragnar come back to cast you out? Mind you, not kill you, just cast you out. I'm just saying, why are you making these characters that we've come to know that are so smart? Like Bjorn is a very smart, he was a smart, from he was a kid that we've grown up with since season one. You get what I'm saying? Like, the stuff that he used to say when he was a kid, you know that this kid was going to be... Ju he's just a smart kid. He's going to be an even more smart. And all the lessons that he learned from Ragnar, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Too much acceptance and no question happened in this episode, bro. I want to drop another point. <laughs> drop it down to 7 out of 10. Just because of that. Because because now that I'm actually thinking about it, I'm wondering why Bjorn didn't ask more questions and just said, Oh, you're my brother? Welcome, you have been found. Yes, you're a son of Ragnar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, But then again, old dude said, they're all sons of Ragnar. So whatever. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my critique, man. That's my review for this episode it was a good episode to keep the story going along but there was just some hiccups there 
that I can, you know, be critical about. And I, I'm, I'm guessing you guys would agree to with that point, with those couple of points that I made about the episode, because it just, the dialogue didn't just happen naturally. And that's one of the things that I didn't like about Game of Thrones season seven and eight. The dialogue did not happen naturally. It kind of like, it kind of like it was, it just felt rushed. You get what I'm saying? So, it, you know, I'm hopefully that they'll even try a little bit better to be better. Um, I don't think it's the same people writing the show. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You guys can let me know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you like. Leave a comment in the comment section if you agree or disagree with me. It doesn't matter. Um, this is my opinion. You can say yours. You know what I'm saying? Um... It's not like dialogue was left out. They just willfully omitted things that naturally occur in conversations or any sensible person would do. So the critique is needed. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.